Thank you. You may be seated. I'd just like to recognize uh, Oshawa Regional and City Councilor Dan Carter uh, in the crowd here, uh, representing the uh, Mayor of Oshawa, Mayor Henry, who couldn't be here today, uh, but he sends his best on behalf of the City of Oshawa, welcoming you here. Uh, looking at the advanced ticket sales, I can see that people have come from all over the province, uh, as far away as California, Texas, Alberta, Quebec, and beyond. Uh, and we'd just like to welcome you on behalf of the City of Oshawa. To the Aquino event for this weekend. It's uh, an annual event, and I hope that you are uh, going to enjoy what you're about to see. You should be, I want to leave you with two thoughts, really. First of all, you are uh, uh, about to become a group of people that are rare, very rare in Canada. You are about to see sights and smells, and you're about to have experiences today that very few Canadians will ever have. It's going to be uh, in the battle reenactment uh, that we're going to have just shortly. Next, we actually have a leopard main battle tank. That is a an early Canadian version behind the uh, Sherman there. That is called a Leopard C1. That was the uh, very first version of the Leopard tank that the Canadian Armed Forces had. And behind that we have two Leopard 1A5s. It was one of the uh, later versions of the uh, Leopard 1 tank. These are actually uh, Belgian Leopards that the museum just acquired at Christmas, believe it or not. And the, uh, the, the Belgian Leopard tanks, those are the ones that our premium ticket holders today will be getting a ride in if they haven't already. shake when the uh, vehicle passes you you feel it in your chest because it's actually shaking the air that you breathe the tactical markings uh, that are on that gun are configured as number one gun of alpha troop 9th battery of the 7th toronto regiment royal canadian artillery the 25 pounder was the primary gun of the field artillery regiments in the second world war and in the korean war it's called a quick firing howitzer. It can actually fire up to 10 rounds a minute. This is gonna be very loud. So if you haven't uh, brought your ear protection or, or purchased some from the gift shop, uh, just beware. This is gonna be a blank fire demonstration, not a simulated fire. It's gonna be very loud. Number one, are you ready? Nine battery, on my command. Fire! <laughs> that was to let everybody in the whole city, actually everyone in the whole region know that the show has started. Command, fire! to retreat behind prepared defensive lines. It was a constant slugging match and very difficult to get a breakthrough to the next line. See the end of the field, the Germans are now re reinforcing the line.
strength on the Allied infantry trying to try to keep up. They can't really advance the tank with that weathering fire. Here comes a bread gun carrier. Believe it or not, the only way that the Ontario tanks could retreat is the padre of the regiment came out in a bread gun carrier, went between the regiment and the German fire, and threw smoke grenades to create a smoke screen so the tanks could withdraw. You can see the chaffy tank has been taken out there and smoke coming out of it.